Hello explorers and welcome to another video. Today I'm gonna talk about auto clickers. <laughs> and I'm not really sure if an auto clicker is a valid topic actually, because when you're thinking about it, uh, having something doing something automatically could be very good for tasks that you want to do on your computer. And most tasks that you do are valid tasks that you need to do. For instance, you could write an auto clicker that goes through a flow in a document and click specific things and then exits, for instance, and does that with some regularity and therefore automate some job that you need to do, which is a good thing. Then you can use an auto clicker, for instance, to cheat in a game. That's not valid and not allowed by most of the online games and you could lose your account and so on. So there is a gray line here. Uh, it's something to be good to know how to build, but you need to use it responsibly. With, all, uh, well, with every technology, you need to use things responsibly. And the reason I uh, wanted to create an auto clicker was to make a teachable moment. Because my son said, I want an auto clicker so I can be AFK in my friend's server on Minecraft. And as it is his friend's server, so he will not be kicked, his account will not be suspended, uh, I thought that this could be a valid thing to do. It's a gray zone and we, you need to be vigilant and really think about is this allowed by the terms of service for that thing that you actually are implementing this against. So let's jump over to my coding screen here. And here you see just a standard standard class uh, called auto clicker. And it actually uh, exists something in the AVT package called a robot. Uh, so if we create a new robot here, robot, uh, like that. And this will throw an exception. Uh, we can either do that or surround it. And I want to handle all kinds of exceptions because I will do multiple things here. So this robot can actually click things. And first off, we need to tell it what thing it should click. And uh, let's say uh, button here. And that's an input event and then button one down, mask. So that's the int for this button. I think it's, uh, yeah, it's 1024. So that's the specific button that we want to press. We can say um, press button, and then we press that button on the mouse. And this leaves the mouse in a little bit of a bad state because the mouse will be pushed down and you need to actually release it as well. So then we need to wait a little bit so it actually registers this click. So we have a thread sleep of let's say 400 milliseconds and then we can do a mouse release of this button. So now we have done the click. Um, so that's pretty much it. And here it will sleep for a while. And we don't want it to click, 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 click as fast as possible um, because that will not be good for your CPU. You want to uh, sleep in order to give the CPU some time to actually do other operations. So after this, we need to need it to sleep for a while as well. And my son wanted it to click every other minute. So then I said, well, 1000 milliseconds is one second. And then he said, okay, so that means that I need to do this 120,000 milliseconds. Yeah, it's good that you know math, but I think we can actually write it better. We can actually write two times 60 times one second. So in this case, you can easily see that we are talking about seconds because this is milliseconds. And then we know that 
uh, we have 60 seconds in a minute and then we have two minutes. Uh, so you can easily change this to three minutes and so on. And Java will compile this down. So it's a constant, therefore it's no extra performance gain to write the actual number. Uh, and this is more readable. And lastly, we want this to be done over and over and over again. So we'll do a while loop. Uh, while it's true, we can uh, run this over and over. So this will click every other minute. So, and so uh, we can say that we want it to click every other second. So we can have it a little bit faster. And then we can have something that types out also that it clicks uh, like that and if we run this uh, we will see that it tells us to click and then waits a couple second, seconds click and if I hold over the stop button here it should click and stop the application without me actually doing any clicking. So that works fine. Another method that you want to know about here is actually the mouse move. So you can say that I want to go to, let's say 600, uh, five, 300 or something like that. And then we will see that the mouse actually moves without me actually moving anything. It will end up somewhere else on the screen and I can click there. So, uh, that's pretty much what I wanted to uh, uh, talk about today. Uh, so that it's very simple. It's not, not that much code, but with great uh, technology or with great knowledge become, comes responsibility. So if you're writing an auto clicker to perform some task, look into the service agreement and see that you're actually allowed to do this. So you don't create something that end up uh, suspending any accounts or making any other problem for you. Uh, I hope that you found this interesting. I hope that you liked this video. If you uh, haven't subscribed yet, please do that. And if you have any comments or suggestions, leave those down in the comment section down below. And I really hope to see you in the next video.